Hey, Wikimania, this is Will Pin from Wiki Education. Uh, I'm excited to share with you a new tool or set of pages that we've been working on uh, to promote equity lists on Wikipedia. So let me walk you through how to use it. Uh, first thing you need to know is that on Wikipedia, we've called these equity lists, uh, and you can just search Wikipedia equity list to get to this particular page. Uh, and the way that this tool works is it's based lovingly on Women in Red, one of my favorite projects on Wikipedia. Um, Women in Red gathers lists of uh, women identifying individuals that don't yet have articles in English Wikipedia, but do have articles in other languages. Uh, and that encourages folks to write uh, these articles uh, in, uh, in English. Uh, the idea being that people already pass the notability threshold and might have some uh, references associated with them to make it easier to write. And so what this page, the equity list page does, uh, is it does the same exact model, but for these different sets of uh, demographic information or demographic data. Uh, and so let's say that we want to write an article about somebody uh, based on their nationality. We can click on this nationality link right here at the top. Uh, and I've got a list of uh, African countries I've been building out, and maybe we want to focus on Angola. Uh, so we can click into that page. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see here's a table um, that's powered by the tool Listeria. Um, and it's just doing a Wikidata query. And if we scroll down a little bit, uh, maybe we want to write an article about Amelia Mingus. Uh, we can see right here that she's linked red, just like everyone is. Um, and we know that uh, she's from Angola because that's what the query is set to. Uh, it also pulls in her Wikidata item and the number of site links. So we know that there's some Wikipedia pages that we can take advantage of. Um, so to write her article, we can just uh, pop open a tab in a new window, uh, and we've got our article page here that we can start to fill out. Uh, and to get some information about Amelia, we can go to her Wikidata item, and we can scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, which is where the site links live, and we can see that she has pages in these uh, three different language versions of Wikipedia. So if we click on the Spanish version, uh, we can scroll down to the bottom, and we can see here are some references that we could use. Um, and if you don't speak Spanish or understand it, you can always translate it. Um, and as you may or may not be aware, you can always uh, use a reference in any language version of a Wikipedia article, regardless of what language that reference is in. So we could uh, start to synthesize all of these into a new article and we could put it here and then publish it. Uh, and then we'd have that new article for Amelia uh, Mingus. Um, and if we, if we go back a couple pages back into the equity lists, um, the nationality uh, one is pretty straightforward. It just gathers different tables of people by their nationality. Um, gender, we focus uh, along the gender spectrum. I've removed uh, all male identifying individuals and female identifying individuals. Um, so it's all the other remaining genders that you will see represented here. Um, just because women in red already exists and Wikipedia skews toward uh, male biographies. So we don't need to add those at this moment. Um, so that's what, what that list uh, is focused on. Um, disability also includes medical conditions uh, and sexual orientation, gathers people who uh, have various sexual orientations and aren't represented yet on Wikipedia, English Wikipedia, and ethnicity um, is, also breaks things down by ethnicity. So a lot of cool lists that you can use uh, to promote making Wikipedia a more equitable place by writing new biographies for folks. Um, some other really cool elements to this page that I want to highlight, if we scroll down quickly, uh, you'll notice there's a whole section about dashboard integration. So if you're familiar with the um, programs and events, events dashboard or the outreach dashboard, as it's called, um, you can follow this link right here to a dashboard training and that explains how to scope your um, programs or your courses and scoping in this case just means that you're highlighting a specific list of articles that you want people into in that edit-a-thon or that course to to work on and so a cool thing about these lists are on every single page if we click into ethnicity um, you can see that there's uh, an id a pet scan id psid that's listed here uh, and you can just copy this number and paste it into your dashboard to scope your dashboard to this list that is below and so the idea here is that you would be able to um, kind of elevate this list and uh, encourage people in a specific program to do work on that list. So um, those are the equity lists. Uh, again, you can find it by going to Wikipedia, or typing in Wikipedia colon equity lists. Uh, and I hope that you'll have an opportunity to use it. Um, if you have feedback for it, please let me know. It's a brand new resource that we just launched uh, and it needs a lot of work, um, but I'm excited for you to check it out.
Thanks, everybody. Have a great conference.